all of you are doing well let us see what is the difference between the flange beam and rectangular beam so in case of a flange flange beam either it is rcc floor bridge rig that is consisting of the beam and slab that is casted together and which act as monolithically right so here the formers are erected in a such a way that the slab and beam together and the concrete is poured in one operation right so and here in this case stirrups and bent up bar that is also extended in the slab right now let us see what is the difference if this is a rectangular beam there is no connection between the slab and beam right and in the flange beam as the beam and slab that is casted together in uh, one operation they act monolithically right now let us see what is the difference in resisting the forces right so here in the case of rectangular beam only beam resist compression i mean slab doesn't take any part uh, for resisting compression right only beam resist compression right now suppose now see here in flange beam due to the integral connection between the beam and slab slab also resist compression along with the beam right so how it is let us see now this one is a neutral axis right above neutral axis there is compression below neutral axis there is tension right same way in case of flange beam above neutral axis there is compression and below neutral axis there is tension right here you can see uh slab also is there in compression means slab take takes parts in resisting compression right so this is the basic difference between rectangular beam and flange beam right there are some limitations of flange beam also that we will see in next lecture okay so now this uh let us see where what about the location of neutral axis this one is the cg uh, of uh, rectangular beam right above the neutral axis compression and below neutral axis we have tension right now here a uh, neutral axis either loca located in the flange of beam or neutral axis located is located in web right so hope my dear student it is clear what about the basic difference between t beam and rectangular beam still if you have any query any questions you can mail me and please don't forget to like share and subscribe